All right, guys, today's going to be an easy day for me. I'm going to make this. So I got a late start. I had a bunch of shit I had to do. Uh, but bear with me. I'm going to find my tripod and get you guys on there and set you up on time lapse. And then this time I'm going to double check to make sure the time lapse is actually working before uh, I do any work. So uh, don't need no more of them super duper speed time lapses where you blink and you miss it. So I'm not going to use that. Uh, app no more because that sucks so let me get this cleared out of the way so i can get through there and uh get my camera posty thingy right there so uh i'll be back in a second all right guys so what i'm gonna do i got this lined up like this it's gonna be i'm actually gonna make it longer uh because i have to round this off here and that is uh, three quarters of an inch. So I want to start three quarters of an inch from over here. And uh, then I'm going to actually roll it like that, mark it, and then I'll take some more measurements. So that's how I'm going to do that right now. So uh, enjoy the time lapse. All right guys, so this is what I have. Yeah, I know, it looks nothing like this, and it probably won't either. Uh, but this is what I did. Put on there like that. Three quarters of an inch for the uh, lip for here and here. And then I just uh, rolled it and traced it again. So I'm gonna draw a center line now for this. So I know where I am going to bend it. And that should give me my 90 degree bend. All in theory. Worst case scenario is I'll just cut it up and weld it. That's all. So either way it's going to work. I'm hoping it works this way because this way seems like it'll be a lot easier. Then I got to do this again for the other side but in reverse order because it goes the other way. So uh, let's get going. We'll give it a try. What's the worst that could happen? Do it all over again? Let me cut this up. Guys, so I got one of these poverty uh, brakes to bend metal. And it's exactly poverty because it's cheap as shit. So uh, I'm gonna try it. I haven't used this in about eight years. So I actually built the, uh, the fan box on a Porsche Bishi. You know, cause one from air cooled to water cooled so I had to build a radiator box. And uh, this is what I used, and I used heavy gauge aluminum, and it was horrible. But the best thing about it, instead of getting a nice 90 degree bend, because the metal is so thick, and I was trying with all my weight to uh, bend it, it gave me a nice, perfectly like round, look pretty cool, a round bend to it. So I was happy with that. It's not supposed to do that, so, but this crap here should be a lot easier to bend. Um, I just have to, grab a scrap piece of metal and see how I have to line it up because this thing here gives you bending stuff. So I don't know if I have to put it right on the line itself. So I'm thinking it's got to go somewhere like right there and then I would lock it down. And that's basically right on the line. I don't want to go too far. 
right about there. So bend it. So I think that would be good. And that's basically right at the line. So uh, I gotta get me some C-clamps to put down on here so I can lock this down. But I'm gonna practice on a piece of metal first. Like I said, it's been a long time. All right, guys, so I didn't want to make you go through me practicing. First practice, can't get better than that. I drew a straight line, straight as I could, and it bent at 90 degrees, and that's exactly how we want it. So, uh, boom. All right, so uh, let's give that a try. Now, norm this is where I normally screw up at, so... Uh, don't drink anything yet, because you're going to probably spit it out. All right, what way do I have to bend this? I traced it this way, so I'll stick this sandwich in here like that. I'm supposed to go over here like that. That'll look like that, and that comes up and around. Yep, I think we're good. I think we're good. Uh, might have to notch this out, it might interfere. Uh, so we'll start bending it and see what happens at that point. Damn it, it moved. It's like playing that game Operation, when you got your good piece of metal here and you don't want to screw it up. Ah. All right, let me double check, make sure I'm going the right way. That's one here like that, and we're going to go up to 90. It doesn't matter which way it goes. So far, so good. I think that's good. What do you think, guys? Not too shabby. Might be able to bend it a little bit more. I think maybe a hair more I can bend it. Just a hair. Yeah. It's a lot tighter in there now. So, uh, now, hmm. How am I going to bend these? That's the fun part. For that machine there, I'm going to have to bend the rest of it by hand. Like I said, I got to notch that out anyway. I don't know if you can see that. It's going to start hitting. So, uh... I was told you hammer where you're bending, not up here, but actually where you want the bend to be at. Put a little pressure on here and it works. Just take your time, no rush, it's not a race. 12 years later, doing it still. Bent the other one. We'll fix that though.
Looks like a 90 to me. How about you guys? So, uh, that kind of mangled that one. Looks like I'm gonna have to trim that again. So, uh, let me hammer that down. Using the voice as a dolly. Just barely. And I'm not gonna get any more. You can see, I'm just a hair. It's a hair, guys, look on the inside. Just a hair. So uh, let me slither the long piece and then I can get that smoothed out. But yeah. See, this one was on a bend. That's why it kind of like around it. That's kind of like how I did my uh, fan box in the uh, Porsche Bishi. It's not a perfect 90, it's rounded. It looks good though. So uh, let me take care of this real quick and cut that. All right guys, so I had to uh, hammer and dolly that around. I actually used the uh, dolly in there and part of the vise. So you see they're matched up. I'm a little short right here. I'm a spot weld short. Doesn't matter because they miss a lot of spot welds anyway that didn't weld nothing but the spot they welded to nothing. Uh, that's what it looks like inside here. Looks like it might be a little off, but not that we can't bend or maneuver around. I got room here to bring this side over if need be or vice versa. So uh, and I might have to trim that up a little bit. I gave myself a little extra as usual because I never come up short. So uh, let's try this one in the car and see what it looks like. All right, guys, so this is the uh, one that I cut off, the old one, the rod at one, see? So this is how it goes when they're like that. Swing it around, I'm trying to hold it the best I can, just so you have an idea of what it looks like. So, and remember, mine's gotta get trimmed up. So that's how it goes on there. Let's see what mine looks like. I haven't looked at it yet. All right, mine looks like shit. So uh, I have to trim the top up. All right, let me just get out. Mine's gotta get trimmed up. Mine's a little too big. I didn't think it was gonna fit perfect. I was hoping, but there we go. Uh, so I gotta trim it up. It's gotta come in. It's gotta fit, I mean, it fits perfect in the rocker right there. I do have to trim that bottom piece up. I, I gotta measure that and cut that. That I do have to do, because it's hitting right at that crease where it sits against on the rocker. Uh, so I'm gonna trim up the yellow one there. Come around. Other than that, it fits pretty good. Right, guys time to weld it in it's painted it's dry i just got to re-scuff it and uh shoot some weld through primer on the bottom of these clean that up right down along there and uh weld this puppy in there yeah looks pretty freaking good so uh let's see if it holds up now let me weld it in All right, guys, what do you think? Horrible, okay. I just gotta tap that inward. Just got a little notch right there. So, I'm not worried about it. But uh, I think it looks pretty good. Lined up pretty good. 
And I can still adjust it here when I weld it in. So, uh, yeah, that's basically how the uh, factory was right along that ledge. I kind of marked it. And, uh, yeah. So I got this all ground down because the quarter panel slides in underneath. Then I'm going to have to cut this whoop, right there. I'm going to have to cut this a little bit so I can get my torch in there. Once I get this inside piece welded today, this is secured. These are coming out. So, uh, but I want to try and jack up this pinch weld here because it's off a little bit. You can see. It doesn't have to be perfect like that, but I am going to grind it down and make it perfect because that's what you can do. Because these aftermarket parts do not line up whatsoever. Apparently, the ones that you make line up a lot better than these aftermarket ones do. Uh, this is a little long. I don't think it's going to matter. If it does, I can just trim it just a hair. Because you can see here, uh, even when I had the other one up, this is just a slight hair longer. So, but I don't really think it's going to matter. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to get this uh, welded in now. And that's what we are going to do. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Alright guys, so I got that where I want it. I'm gonna have to repaint this because it blistered because of the heat. Uh, I had to fill in a gap. It was a little bit of a gap. Nothing major. Uh, something normal for me, I guess. A little ugly welds. Nothing that you can't grind down. But again, I'm not gonna grind these down. I did both sides. I just wanted to make sure this damn thing penetrated because uh, it is a support. So I just wanted to be sure that it was gonna be okay. Um, like these welds here, I'm not even gonna grind them down whatsoever. I'm just gonna clean them up and lather them up with seam sealed. Same with this, you're never gonna see it. It's inside. Uh, I mean, I may grind them down a tad bit, just a tad, but uh, that's about it. And over here, this panel, the aftermarket panels are horrible. They're never going to line up perfect. So I punched my spot weld holes here, or rosette welds, or whatever weld you want to call them. So basically, just at the tip of these circles, I just got to go basically right where that little black paint is right there. I got to go straight across all the way up and then drill new holes because it's a big gap. So, with that said, uh, I'm going to put my striker plate back on, and I want to shut my door and see how it is. Uh, that way I can adjust. This has a little bit of play in it. Well, actually, I don't have to adjust anything because it has to get smashed against here to uh, get welded in. And that's what we're going to do next. And I don't know if you can see that right in here. Let me find my light. That actually at one time had a weld on it. From what, I don't know. It's not the quarter panel. So I'm assuming it probably welded onto the rocker at one time. I don't know. But uh, I do have to jack this rocker up a little bit. And that's what I'm going to go do now so I can uh, get this piece welded in. So hang tight.
right, guys, while waiting for my batteries to charge for my drill and uh, everything else, um, I guess I could weld them in first. All right, yeah, I'm going to weld them in first while I'm waiting. And then I am going to clean this up and remove this. That's the uh, old quarter all the way down to there. So I'm probably going to hack it off right here now. Get that going and put that up over there so I can work on that later. Why does that look like it bows up and shit? I don't know. I'm going to have to figure it out. <clears throat> because they don't make that part at all. So with that said, because uh, eventually i got to clean this shit up. And this stuff looks bad. I'm hoping I can probably get away with it. I'm gonna sandblast it, and uh, once I get it outside, I'll sandblast it, see what it lo looks like. If not, guys, I'm gonna have to get a new one. Don't want to, that's the most thing I'm dreading right there. But uh, yeah, I think I'm gonna burn those in down there now while I'm waiting for that shit to charge up. And then, uh, then I'll start working on that. So it's probably gonna take about a half hour. So, let's go. Let's get to it. All right guys, so this is all welded up. That's all welded up down here. I welded all up along here. Right up along here, that's all done. Uh, I do have a couple spot welds I have to get into the uh, frame rail to the uh, new floor that I have to get done. And uh, what else? Oh, I got like several spot welds to uh, do down under here. So I'm going to go ahead and get them done now, and then I'm going to work on the top here, and I got to pull this up just a hair. So I got to figure out how I'm going to do that. I'm probably going to get the jack, or maybe a ratchet strap. I'll hook up on here, and hook it up on here or something like that. I don't know. I'll figure something out, but uh. Let me, uh, I want to get this done first. Alright guys, so it is time to start welding that in there. As soon as I get some welds in there, these bars are coming out. Uh, I might leave this one in though, because I do want to disconnect this from the roof. So that I do want to do. I had to put a ratchet strap on here to pull that up. And you can see in there, now it fits flush fits flush there but it doesn't get welded but I am going to put a tack weld in there to the other piece uh, but first we're going to weld this stuff in so uh, I'm going to sit you up right not, not there I'll sit you up right here
All right, guys. So the bracing is out. Now I actually have room to comfortably weld. It was fucking horrible with those uh, braces in the way. So I got to patch all that shit up. You know, not too bad over here. But uh, now I got to drill some holes in this side because I can't get on that side. So, uh, but we're, we're coming along pretty good. Still got my ratchet strapping on there. So uh, we're good with that. And uh, yep, let's get you on some time lapse. Well, let, let, me, let me finish this. We'll finish that up now. All right guys, so everything is welded in except that spot right there and right in here. That's because I need some adjustment for when I put the quarter on. So if I need to bring this in, I can bring it in. If I need to bring it out a little bit, I can bring it back out. So I'm gonna leave that like that so I can have my adjustments. And then that was a bitch welding in there. It's, it was hard. So, but I got the, uh, the inner rocker or outer rocker is done. Completely done, the outer rocker. So I put my striker on there, my door shuts. It does get a little tight right in this area here. It comes forward. So that's why I said I can smack that back if need be. Uh, probably hammer and dolly it. Bang, 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 bang. You gotta go that way. So uh, now I am going to. Uh, grind all this crap down because my outer wheel well has to sit flush up on here so i have to gently just grind that down it's not going to be perfect ground down i'm not blending it in i don't care it is going to have another body panel over top of it then it gets seam sealed so i'm not worried about it plus it's going to be a daily driver how many daily driver cameras do you see on the road i got a lot of daily drivers i drive all over I get confused every day when I go out to the car. Which one am I driving today? But uh, anyway, let me get grinding down. And then after I grind everything down, I'm calling it a day. I'm going to call it a successful day. Then tomorrow, it's supposed to rain all day tomorrow. And that's when we're going to take all that crap off, clean all that crap up, and uh, start fitting the quarter panel on. And... Uh, that would be awesome if I could weld that on, but I highly doubt that would get welded on tomorrow because I got to clean all this stuff up. I got to epoxy it and all that crap. So uh, and that's what we're shooting for. Then I'm, I know I'm going to have to play with that. So, yep. So let me get going. And it is so much better not having them braces in, in the way. That was giving me a hard time. That's the excuse I'm going to use for the welds. Guys, I'm not a professional welder. I'm self-taught. Watched a couple videos. Friend told me what to do on how to adjust my welders and stuff like that. So uh, the more you weld, the better you get. So, and I noticed, like say this is a spot weld, you know, you want to fill that in. You actually have to keep moving the, uh, the head of the uh, welder. You just can't leave it there and just slowly go. That's how you get a lot of blow through. But my blow throughs kind of like stopped, not stopped, but it slowed down a lot. So uh, as long as you keep doing this like every day or you know, repetitions, you know, keep doing it, keep doing it, find your settings and stuff like that. But it does suck when you actually grind this stuff down, it thins the metal out and you get a lot more blow through. If you just get like a scotch brake uh, disc, something like this to strip the paint off and stuff like that instead of using one of them coarse ones like this this is going to take the metal down and thin it out and you don't want that so uh just be careful when you do that so let me go back to uh grinding these down and i'm only concentrating on these here and they're not going to be perfectly ground down i'm not worried about blending them in i'm just worried about getting that outer wheel well put on i'm not even worried about these here 
So I might hit them, I might not, I don't know. And I'll probably hit these a little bit. These spot welds got a lot better. I'm gonna hit the spot welds. So uh, yeah, then we'll go from there. All right, guys, so that's going to end it for today. I made a little bit of a mess uh, after the camera died. I just charged my battery up for a little bit, and I was doing a couple little things here. I only got about 10% left. Uh, so I'm going to show you what I did while the battery died, and I didn't know because I thought it was on time lapse, and I don't pay attention all the time. So uh, let me show what we got going on. All right, so for starters, I got this piece of the old quarter panel. Uh, kicking out. There's another piece that flew somewhere too. Got the air gun on. Boop. Good old air gun there. So uh, I put that piece that goes across the uh, drip rail for the trunk. That's all right there. I have to slowly take that apart one day. Not today or tomorrow or this week or next week. So, uh, got this. I'm hoping I can save that. I don't know. Let me know what you guys think. So, uh, cause I'm not going to do this anytime soon. Uh, so let me know if you think if I could probably sandblast that would be good or just get a new one. If I get a new one, I'm going to do both sides. I'm not going to half-ass it. So, uh, I had to trim this up because of the hump there. Again, you know, this is one size fits all from 70 to 75. Five, I think it is and then you have to modify this shit so it's great uh, you're gonna get like one one of the circles line up uh, it fits pretty smooth underneath it transitions except when you get to the dead center there's probably about a quarter inch of a gap uh, still gonna work on that see if I can squish it down this is a hair off uh, this is flush all the way down I can't get it anymore Unless I trim it, so I might trim it, and that might bring this down some. So that's another option I'm gonna do. I'll trim this piece down here uh, just a little bit and uh, see what we got. I started to screw it in uh, just to get it in place, stuff like that. Um, I ground it down some of the spot welds. I ran out of this belt. So that's how I'm gonna leave it because it's gonna get uh, Undercoated. I think I'm using lizard skin. I don't know. Then I started to hit some of these spot welds here. I half-assed this around here, grinding it. I'm not, like I said, I'm not worried about it. And I did down in there, and I did some up in here. So, uh, yeah, not too, too bad. Uh, nothing body filler and all that stuff can't hide. And seam seal. But that's where we're at right now. So tomorrow, uh, quarter panels over there. Oh, shit. Before we put the quarter on, I got to get rid of this crap. I ain't doing it today. So that'll be tomorrow morning. First thing in the morning. Guys, we will take care of that. And, uh, hopefully this, I'm going to take this back off and trim that up a little bit. See if I can get that to come down. If I get that to come down, that's going to drop that down. You got to rotate it. So I'm hoping that that will work. If not, then, you know, it is what it is. So, I mean, who's, who's gonna look underneath and see if my wheel wells are level? I'm not, so I don't care, but we're getting there. Rocker's 100% done, I got that. Did a lot of work today, believe it or not. This is the first time I did a lot of work. So, uh, I'm, I'm trying to get this damn thing card done. So, uh, hopefully we get this uh, quarter put on by the uh, end of the week, I will be happy if I can do that. Happy. I was looking for this. Huh, that ain't no good. Yep, that's trash. So, uh, all right, guys. I will see you guys in the morning, and we're going to take care of all this crap. All right, see you then.
right guys, so uh, this is giving me uh, flashbacks of PTSD. If you remember back when I took the quarter panel off on the other side, I was looking at the frame rails, right? what am I gonna do? I get up and I punctured my friggin' head and I had to glue it back on. So I had a nice gash on my forehead, or somewhere near there. So that's why I started hammering these down. I don't plan on being near it that long. Uh, yep, so this is all cleaned up now. Here's all the scrap metal from that. This is all the crap from right here. They use lead and brass. <laughs> Imagine that. So now I just gotta clean this up. Got some raggedy edges I gotta disc here. I'll grind that down, I'll clean this up and clean that up. Get rid of that crap, crap bully. So uh, yeah, I can't wait now. Uh, this is screwed in. I still wanna trim the bottom today. See if I can get it to go down a little bit more so I can almost get that perfectly lined up, which would be awesome. I don't know if it's supposed to get lined up, but I wanna try to. And uh, yeah, go grab that quarter panel over there and slide that sucker on. But first, I gotta take that off. So uh, I'll be right back. All right, guys, so first fit of the quarter panel. I am pretty, pretty impressed. I just gotta go back that way a hair. I'm fighting that a little bit, trying to get it in there. Everything else, and you'll see, this is coming up where it should be, but this here has to get clamped, and it's gotta come this way a little bit so I can get that to drop down because that's just sitting like that. So this has to come forward that way, so I kinda gotta pick it up and roll it, I guess. Uh, I'm gonna put some sheet metal screws in, shut this door a little bit, and then I have to get my gap. So, but I am, I just tapped that in with my rubber mallet, so that goes, that goes in really nice. So that had to get adjusted, and then of course it gets welded in. <sighs> yes, 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 yes. It's coming along. So now I have to find my door gap. So that's what I'm gonna be working on now for the next day. <laughs> Cause it ain't gonna happen in a minute, I'll tell you that. So uh, I'm not even gonna bother putting you on time lapse because who knows, it's gonna be a while. All right guys, so I got some screws I had in there. I just took them out, quarter panels on there. I'll show you what the gap looks like. Fender line, body line lines up cause this matched that with the old one. But the gap is a little too small. Had my stick. So if you look here, I'm not worried about the door really because the door is adjustable. So get the stick, the paint stick goes in there and gets real tight right here. It goes in here and gets real tight right there. So from here, I gotta get that to go that way. Uh, the other issue I'll show you is this. This, I got a screw in there. Right down, horrible. Uh, I got the screw in there. This meets up good, meets up good right here. But then when it comes here, it's horrible. So I believe I have to cut it here, move it over and then fill the difference in. That's what I'm leaning to. Then the other issue, this here, that's how it's supposed to be. I believe. Then look at this one. So it has extra metal. So I got to draw a straight line from here over and cut it. Everything else is the same. I measured it. So I got to go from here to here and cut it. So I got the deck lid on. And that's how I found out what was going on. So I'm trying to get the body lines up. It won't shut because of that. It's hitting it. So, I mean, the gap back here looks kind of decent. Might have to go over a little bit more, which is normal. I'm not worried about that. Uh, so once I get this hacked off, I'll be in better shape. So uh, stay tuned. Let me cut this, and uh, I gotta keep going. All right, guys. It's been a long day today. Uh, 
with the quarter panel off and on, off and on, off and on. I went and got my fender. I got nice gaps with that in the front. I am extremely happy with it. Uh, I just got it sitting on there. I know I have nice gaps because I held it in place and it's got good gaps and it's got plenty of adjustment. So uh, the deck lid, <laughs> yeah, the deck lid. Uh, I took the aftermarket one off. I didn't like the way it was fitting uh, too well. So I'm like, eh, let me put the other one back on. The other one had a little bit of rust on it. Not too much rust, but I figured I was replacing all the panels anyway. Might as well replace that. Because, you know, don't know what kind of rust is inside of it. But uh, I might be going with it. Yeah, so uh, I might be selling, I might get rid of the aftermarket one. I don't know yet. So I want to see how everything goes. And uh, I'm going to go from there. But everything's fitting nice, real nice couple of cutting spots in here and there and stuff like that. Not not too crazy. Uh, it's going a little crazy with the quarter panel. I'm 30. Going crazy with the quarter panel at first, and then I started figuring it out. So uh, that that's taken care of now. The gap's a little close on the daughter and quarter. Might have some more adjustment in it. I don't know. I got one more thing I'm going to do, and I'm going to show you what's going on right now. Because you're tired. You guys want to see what's going on. I know. So here we go. So the fender lines up. Okay, you don't look like it lines up, but I got plenty of adjustment and stuff like that and everything lines up the way it should. So, except the antenna. I'm getting rid of the antenna anyway. Uh, so I'm happy with that. I put the sunroof back on. It's broke, the latch, so it's not sucking it down and stuff like that. So that's why that's like that, because it's not locked. Because I can pick it up. Picked up a little too much. There we go. So, anyway, uh, the door line, perfect. Perfect door line all the way across. I think that's the most important thing. The gap gets real tight right in here, right in the center. It's decent here, and it's decent here. So, put some screws in here, put some screws in there. You can see I put one there, and... Had a little bit more of adjustment I had to do. Put a clamp up there. I put a ratchet strap up here because I couldn't pull it with anything. Because, again, this roof is not staying. I'm putting a factory T-top on it. So once I get that on there, I can still move these and still get more adjustment. Because when I put the ratchet strap in here and pulled, I pulled right here, this opened this up a lot more. So I kind of like twisted it out. So I was happy with that. Uh, coming back here, starting to look like a car now. So I think I'm happy with these. I think they look pretty darn good. I got to put the other spoiler on, so that's why it's got that bigger overlap right there. But yeah, I think that is right on the money. I think this one here needs more of adjustment. I literally, I have it sitting in with one screw I just screwed it in so I know I got adjust plenty of adjustment on here too so I wasn't even playing with this but uh I got one screw there and one screw down there so but even here it's kind of like the same door gap you know this door has to get rocked out a little bit but everything lines up guys everything lines up and you see here like in here I can actually pull this and pull it out so when i do when i pull this out see i pull it out look at the gap in pull it out and pull the door out a little bit pull it out it opens that gap up so that's why i'm not too too worried about the gap right there today's thursday i'm gonna do a couple more little things down here which i'll show you the spot where i uh I wonder if I'll that. Uh, things are falling all over. Uh, sucks getting up and down off the floor. So, I think that came out good. You just tap it, it goes in. But in this corner here, it, it hangs out. So, tomorrow in the morning, I'm going to take that quarter off. And then I'm going to cut that little section that I made 
and then I'm gonna push it in and then re-weld it and that should fix that overlap right there. If you can see it, got a little bit of an overlap. So, but everything else is looking phenomenal. I got the inner wheel well screwed in and uh, yeah, so door gaps down here, they're good still. Got plenty of adjustment to go up and down with it. I think we're moving along. I think as soon as I get this side welded in, that side's gonna flow so much easier and go downhill. Or downhill in a good way, not in a shit storm way. <laughs> so, uh, starting to look like a car. I'm gonna go in my container tomorrow and get the side spoilers and the taillights because I wanna put the taillights and everything in and make sure everything fits. And I might even go and pop on the uh, rear bumper too, just for shits and giggles to see how it looks. So, but uh, getting pretty happy. Uh, I still gotta go to the powder coater and get my sway bar powder coated. And I have to get my, uh, the spring pockets, that the things that go into the spring pockets for the leaf springs. I want to get them powder coated and something else I want to get powder coated. I don't remember, but uh, as soon as I get those, then I'm going to pop the rear in. I can roll it. Then it's going to go up on the lift and then I am going to undercoat underneath. I'm probably going to use the Raptor liner. I kind of like that. I've seen some videos with that and people like them. I talked to a couple of people and they did the same thing and uh, they like it. So I think that's what I'm going to go, but it's starting to look like a car guys. Happy, happy, happy. But uh, <sighs> exhausted. So I am going to uh, get something to eat. And uh, I will see you guys in the morning. I'm sorry I didn't time lapse everything because it's just taking off and on, off and on. There's nothing really to see. It's a lot, a lot of work getting it fitted. So once I get it fitted uh, in a nice spot, then I'll start showing you guys more stuff. But. I'm burned out by doing this today. So you guys will be like, what the hell are you showing me this for? It's like watching people do body work on cars. It sucks, you know, but you gotta do something. Even time-lapse sucks with body work. So, but uh, all right, I'm gonna shut up and I'll see you guys in the morning. This quarter panel has more issues than P. Diddy. Yeah, it has no gap. Working on it. Uh, about four days in a row working on a gap on this thing. It's getting there little by little. Let me show you what's going on. Okay, so this is the best gap I got so far. Uh, let's see, what is it? It's uh, 3 sixteenths. And you know what? I am going to stick with 3 sixteenths. It's perfect up here. It gets a little tight right here. Right there, it gets a little tight and tight down there. But I, I, I can get that to come out, but not right now. Uh, so, and the gap up here is pretty decent too. So what the problem is, the car's a T-top. They twist, they're bent and everything else. That side's not connected because I started that one. Then this side is connected by a couple little strands. You see the one in the middle and the one towards us. The other one down there is not connected at all. So, the roof kind of uh, twisted. Now, I don't know if you're gonna be able to see this on damn chair. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it on camera. I put the brace back in there, but it still has a little more flex to it. Not much, just a little. Finally, I got this thing meeting up here with no screws in it, which is good because it was gapped out like that put the screws in it and it sucked it back in this way. And I literally had no gap. I'm kind of dinging it up right here. Uh, but you know, it is what it is. So a little bit of fiberglass and hammer and dolly, I'll be able to straighten that back out. But what I had to do to figure out what was going on, I had to stick my pry bar in there and to pull that out to see how it was going. So and after I made a phone call at my buddy and everything, he said the back end's too, uh, too, too low. He goes, you got to bring it up. So you roll the quarter panel out, and it kind of levels that. 
and it moves that down there and gives me more gap at the bottom. So, every time I put screws in here and let go, this would suck back in that way. So if I put the clamp back here, it didn't allow that to flex that way. So, and that brace is actually helping it. So everything else looks pretty decent right now. Uh, I'm gonna try the back window and see how that is. I'm gonna put a screw in there, but I ain't gonna do that until, excuse me, Monday. Uh, today's Saturday, I gotta get this video out tonight. So with that said, uh, there's more work to be done. All right, guys, so uh, here it all is, you know, got all the uh, the deck lids in, the tail lights are in, everything's lining up pretty, pretty decently, except the quarter, as you know, already. Uh, so I just want to give you a view of everything. I mean, it's going to turn out, it's not going to be a pristine show car or nothing. I'm, believe it or not, I'm going to make it my daily driver. This and the 944 will be my daily driver. The 911 will be whenever both of them but uh yeah but i really want this one as a daily driver so uh yep starting to look good starting to look good yeah i know i got my bike up there i already got a freaking thing in the door something fell and hit it i don't know what it was but the bike doesn't reach up that high so now i got body work to doing the damn thing but yeah so there we have it and uh Sending out the sway bar and the leaf spring perches, I guess you'd call them. They're going to go get sandblasted and powder coated. So then I can put the rear in and get this thing to roll. And that's what I want. So we can roll it, roll it, roll it, roll it. And, uh, all right, guys. So you've seen the problems I'm having with my quarter panel. And, uh, I'm going to get it. It's going to get there. It takes a little bit of time. Believe it or not, the driver's side is lining up a lot better. That's not even welded in yet, so, which is a good thing. Nothing's welded in on that side. So I want to get that passenger side where it needs to be. Then I'll come to the driver's side, being it's loose, and set it up where it needs to be, and then I can start welding it in. Uh, but I'm definitely going to try the glass and all that stuff, and the roof is getting replaced. So I'm really not too, too worried about it, but I want to get it in the ballpark where it needs to be. So, uh... Stay tuned for the next one because uh, the next one should be a lot better than this one. So uh, I'll see you guys on the next video. Thanks for watching.